Okay, so welcome to part, uh, I think this is four, of my Mandalorian helmet. Uh, you don't see a helmet, but this is going to be that speaker system that I mentioned uh, in a previous part. Um, I'm going to walk you guys through kind of what my plan is for this, uh, kind of how it works, what I'm using. Uh, do a little demo of it, putting it together, uh, and then there should be a nice quick video on that. So uh, it's a really simple design. It's basically just to... Um, make it easier for people to hear me while I'm wearing the helmet and to kind of give it that like, you're wearing a helmet and speaking through a radio sound thing um, that comes from the show. So there are a total of five parts, right? One, two, yeah, five parts. You have a speaker, uh, the microphone, an audio amp, a latching on off switch, uh, and then a battery pack. So, all of this is nothing special. I can link to everything that I use down below. Some of it was bought from Amazon. Some of it from a, a retailer called DigiKey. Um, and I can link them down below, but these are all pretty much just off the shelf parts. Nothing nothing inherently special. Let me walk you through how, uh, how this goes together and then kind of what my plan is for putting it in the helmet. So the schematic actually comes from um, the same person who made the three models of the armor that I'm using. He has kind of a write up on what he did and I'm kind of borrowing that for this. Um, so we're gonna start kind of kind of what goes where. So the microphone, uh, it's just a simple uh, microphone. I, I don't really know off the top of my head what this was. Uh, this has a 4.7 mega ohm, the big M, 4.7 mega ohm, uh, one quarter watt resistor soldered onto the uh, data line from the microphone. This then gets soldered into the input on the audio amp. Uh, the ground from here and the batteries and everything kind of get tied together in the ground. And then power, obviously, into the amp. Uh, that powers everything. And then the speaker gets wired into these two mounting terminals. Uh, and then kind of the whole thing just sits uh, nice and pretty. So let's put it together, uh, kind of give you a better idea of what my plan is on it. Uh, and then we can kind of map out what it'll look like inside the helmet and then go from there. Also, I let me know what you think of this camera angle. I got a new tripod a while ago. Uh, it actually makes it hard to put it in front of me and do work. So it's kind of all at an off angle. So it's going to be a little different. Um, any new any projects I do down the line, like I have one coming up about fixing some Joy-Cons. Um, if you don't like this, let me know. Because uh, I'll need to come up with a new solution. I don't have an overhead mount. I don't have, I don't have the space to put that in. So... Um, let me know what you think, because I want some feedback on it. So to get started, uh, we're going to wire in everything to the amp that needs it. Let's start with the easy stuff, right? Let's do... Let's do the, the microphone to the import. So there are... I don't really have a good pointer here, do I? Um, there are four pins on the audio amp. There's power in. Uh, signal in and then two grounds on the on the end here. So we're gonna wire let's see. We're gonna wire microphone system to in. Microphone to in. We'll do power to in. And then we're going to do sorry, getting a little ahead of myself. Power from the microphone in. Uh, power from our battery pack goes in. So this is all kind of crudely soldered together at the moment. Um, I'm gonna go back, I need to trim wires the lengths that I need them for my helmet. Um, but I'm gonna do that off camera because every everybody's gonna be a little different on where they want things placed. So I'm just kind of putting it together, doing a demo, and then I'll take it apart and make it look pretty before it actually gets assembled. So those are done. Now we want to solder, I'm gonna solder ground from the microphone to one of the ground ports on the audio amp. Uh, 
Now we're going to take the ground from uh, the ground, sorry, ground from the battery pack, solder it to this other terminal of our power switch. And then this ground goes to the other grounding port, port pin <laughs> of the amp. So that gives us a circuit that we can turn on and off. Um, now, I don't have the speaker plugged in. I'm just making sure this lights up. We'll put in three AAA batteries. And if we put, click the switch, might be a little hard to see on camera, but there is uh, oh, wrong button. There is this red light here. We can see it's on. Turn it off. Turn it on. Okay, cool. So then, uh, all that's left is to wire in speaker. Right, so, sorry, I thought I had these wires prepped. I did not. So, we're going to solder one wire to one terminal on the speaker. Take our ground other wire, solder to our other terminal. Like so, and then uh, the amp here makes it actually really easy to do this. Uh, it uses these, I don't know what the proper term is, but they're basically just uh, pressure points. So if I didn't solder that somehow. Basically, you slot them into these terminals. So I have these backwards. I wasn't really paying attention when I soldered them on, but it's temporary because I need to put it in the helmet anyways. So you unscrew these, these terminals. Uh, you slot the wire in. A little hard to see. I'm also struggling to get it in. Slot it in, screw it down, and it pretty much clamps the wire in place. This is not cooperating at all. So I'm having some trouble with that terminal. I don't really know why screwing it down isn't securing it, but it's okay, because we're just gonna solder it to the bottom of this instead, uh, even if it's just temporary. I have another one of these boards, so if it's if it's a problem, I'll just replace it. But you know, we're just gonna temporarily solder that to the bottom of it. Uh, and then we slot this in, flip this around, turn it on. Uh, our light is on. If I speak into the microphone, hello, 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 you can hear it. Uh, and it's exactly what we want. Oh my God, that's getting too close to what I want. A little messy. Um, so I have done this together. I put this together a couple, I think almost two weeks ago now. Um, sounds quiet. Something I saw mentioned was making kind of like an echo chamber. And I designed this uh, for use in the helmet. Uh, basically speaker sits in here and this gets wedged in the cheeks. Uh, <clears throat> it gets wedged in the cheeks similar to the joint that I've made. Um, so basically, the plan is going to be we take out this joint, and then this sits uh, like so, right in there. Uh, we'll take out the, the joint so this can sit a little more flush, but then this sits there. We'll move the joint up, uh, and then this acts as one, another support for the cheeks to keep it from, from squishing, uh, and two, then it holds the speaker and I can still slip my head in and out. Basically the speaker's just gonna slot in like so. And then uh, there's a little bit of a gap in it from where the speaker rests and the bottom uh, that should provide a bit, uh, I guess it's a resonance. It's gonna echo basically, it's just gonna make it a little louder. So if we turn it on again. Hello, hello. Might be a little hard to hear with my 3D printer on in the background, but hello. 
Hello. Testing, testing. One, two, three. So, a little hard to test. Um, I don't really know what to say to test it. Um, part of it is that the microphone, I don't think is actually close, as close to my mouth as it will be in the actual helmet um, with where everything I have placed out kind of like roughly. So the microphone's gonna be probably about this close to my mouth. Um, so if we turn it on, it's on. I'll be speaking about this close to it. And if I point this up to you, to the mic, yeah, it's a little easier to hear. And I can actually hear better than if I was uh, not using this little resonance chamber thing. So I think it's gonna work really well. Uh, I'm just gonna tinker around with some of these potentiometers on here. Uh, this one controls volume. There's one on the mic that controls gain. Uh, turning it up a little too much makes it very distorted uh, and it's not what we want. So uh, I'll tinker with the potentiometer a little bit to get it how I want, but this is the general idea uh, where we're just gonna, um, we, we're basically doing this just with wires of different lengths gluing this battery pack in somewhere that I can reach it that's not in the way of my head. Uh, and then, yeah, we're just gonna glue this up. I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna show it, show me putting it in the helmet because I think that uh, it'll be a little unneeded because everybody's helmet's gonna be different if you make one. Um, if you're, for some reason, you're using me as a guide, uh, everybody's helmet's a little different. So your wires will be different, but the same general design, the same general process of laying them out how you want it, measuring wires, uh, and then soldering it together. So one thing that I guess might help is to, I'm gonna use the resonance chamber thing as a mount for the amp. I'm just gonna probably mount it somewhere like right here. Uh, keeps it, you know, close. Sorry, off camera. Then put it like right here. I'll just have glue it down. Um, keeps me from having to put it somewhere else in the helmet and this way it's secured. Um, that might help some people, but this is my plan. And then wires everywhere in the helmet. So uh, I'm gonna get to work on that. A uh, little shorter one, shorter part of this, but let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I hope that helped in some capacity or, or sparked an idea for your own design of this stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I would love to hear if you got something. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for what I hope is the final part of the helmet. And yeah, I hope you had a good time watching this.